So here's a very strange picture. I mean, can you tell me what's wrong with this image? I mean, it should be obvious. It sees a clown surrounded by women who actually appear to be enjoying his company. And this is just bizarre because nobody enjoys Caesar's company. I didn't think it was physically possible to accomplish such a thing. But you know the secret to his success? Well, all he did was proudly show off his subscription to the Grand Line Review, which primarily gave him regular One Piece content uploaded straight into his YouTube feed. But the side effect of that action is that the ladies love it. So why don't you go ahead and give it a try as well. Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. And today for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, it's Loki a time once more as we delve into one of the rare Devil Fruits in the series that has been augmented with the Gasu Gasu no Mi. The Gasu Gasu no Mi is a Logia type fruit that allows its user to conjure, manipulate, and become gas. What type of gas, you ask? Well, that's an intriguing question there, and we'll need to take some time to explore. But for now, this fruit was consumed in the series by the Crown Prince of Dickory, he's a clown, and it made its first appearance during the Punk Hazard arc. The etymology behind this fruit is another stupidly simple affair that almost makes this section pointless, almost. However, the Gasu Gasu no Mi derives its name from the Japanese word for gas being Gasu. And very notably for our American friend Dorinos though, this word in no way refers to gas as in the shortened version of gasoline. And to be perfectly honest, the whole idea of referring to a liquid as a gas is simply bizarre and beyond the comprehension of the rest of the world. But with that said, we still love you, most of the time. In any case, Viz and Funimation very predictably decided to translate this bad boy right here as the gas gas fruit. So what exactly is gas? Well, allegedly it is defined as a substance or matter in a state in which it will expand freely to fill the whole of a container, having both no fixed shape and no fixed volume. Sounds fun. And as a result, this is already one of the more incredibly powerful devil fruits, even for a Logia, that we have seen in the series thus far, because gas is just far too versatile, especially in the right deranged clownish hands. Now as for exactly what type of gas the user becomes, that is effectively unknown at this point, for reasons that we will get into, and to be frank, I highly doubt that we will ever find out. What we do know is that Caesar Clown has the ability to become varying degrees of incredibly poisonous gas, so in many ways you could think of this fruit as being similar to that of Magellan's Doku Doku no Mi, except that the Gasu Gasu no Mi does not have the option to expel a liquid form. What's interesting though is despite the unknown gaseous being the user becomes, they are then able to manipulate seemingly any type of gas that they stumble across, which would happen fairly often, as oxygen happens to be one of those very common gases, so this is immediately incredible incredibly dangerous because the user does have the ability to remove all oxygen within a given radius, generally leading to the unfortunate suffocation of anybody who sadly enough got trapped in said radius. And some of these notable unfortunate figures include Luffy, Robin, Frankie, Smoker, and Toshigi, many of whom are individuals who would not so easily lose to a being like Caesar Clown without such an incredible power at his disposal. Although at the time, I guess it should be said that Smoker and Toshigi had swapped bodies, but something I've always found interesting is that the removal of oxygen did not affect Caesar. However, did affect the body of Smoker, who was also a Logia user. So assumedly Caesar must have had some sort of control of the oxygen within himself, or that's just a bit of a Logia inconsistency there. Because in theory, if Logias don't need oxygen, then Smoker's body shouldn't have needed oxygen to breathe, but maybe that was just Toshigi using it poorly, but there's uh, so much to think about. However, that really is just the beginning of the madness at play when thinking of oxygen alone, because this substance is super important as a fuel to be compounded at the whims of the user, since they will almost always be surrounded by oxygen. I say almost always because I guess there's always the chance that the user could find themselves in space, which you know is surprisingly easy to achieve in the One Piece world, apparently, as NL proved when he casually moseyed on up to the moon, but I digress. Speaking of Caesar though, which we weren't, but we are now, we really should not go any further without pointing out that he is the reason why we can only discuss this fruit in very vague and uncertain terms, because he is one of the rare individuals within the series who has augmented his devil fruit and has stated that he blatantly altered its powers with his chemical expertise. Because despite his clownish appearance, he is actually a brilliant scientist, deranged, but brilliant. And so the Gasu Gasu no Mi probably has the best possible user in the series to really extract its full potential. With this in mind though, I think it's highly likely that the base form of the Gasu Gasu no Mi may not even be poisonous at all. And it's only due to Caesar's augmentation that this fruit acts in a similar manner to that of Magellan's Doku Doku no Mi, which naturally spawns poison without augmentation. It's very easy to see a case where the base form of the Gasu Gasu no Mi is a very simple existence, a plain and unharmful gas. However, after incorporating various chemical compounds into his body, Caesar has 
has been able to alter it significantly to the state that it is in today. In general though, when not ridding the world of oxygen, many of Caesar's combat-based usages involve igniting gases, which is important to note because Caesar is not capable of doing this naturally and he will always need an external source to commence ignition. So if you were to take him outside of a laboratory environment and or catch him unequipped, then Caesar may immediately become a far less dangerous fruit user. Not by much though, he's still pretty damn deadly. But an example of his augmented techniques can be seen in Blue Sword, whereby Caesar can craft a blade of oxidized flame and engage in the age old activity of slash and burn. With an incredibly potent temperature actually, which was even enough to melt a section of the hallways on Punk Hazard. Another intriguing little technique that Caesar has invoked is called Gastonets, where he fills a delightful set of castanets with some highly volatile gas and then slams them together with such force that it causes an instantaneous explosion, which is a nice piece of handy utility actually, because so long as he has his castanets, Caesar could assumedly craft explosions anytime, anywhere, making his basic utility comparable to that of the entire gimmick of certain devil fruits, like in the case of Mr. Five's Bomu Bomu no Mi, or even the Pamu Pamu no Mi wielded by Gladius. One of the more interesting things that Caesar Clown has managed to accomplish though, was the creation of the creature Smiley, who was probably best described as a big old gloop of death. Gamically constructed with the assistance of the Gas Gas no Mi, but also given life via the process of fusing it with a Zoan type devil fruit, in this case an axolotl, which we will actually be exploring shortly in this series. However, this situation gets far more complicated than that, as Smiley was crafted to be a chemical weapon via a candy consumption mechanism, whereby after Smiley eats said candy, he is killed, reverts back to its gas form, and then releases an incredibly deadly chemical, which spread across most of the island of Punk Hazard, thus implementing quite possibly the most dangerous weapon that Caesar has ever crafted. Crafted. But even after that, there is an optional extra step because Caesar can then absorb this gas within himself in a technique known as Shinokuni, becoming an infinitely more poisonous gassy boy, although one who was still ultimately defeated by Luffy, calling into question Caesar's competency in the art of combat in general. Because yes, as a scientist, Caesar is probably the ultimate wielder of this fruit, although as a combatant, he needs lots and lots of work. In terms of an awakening though, this is probably one of the most difficult fruits we've examined in the encyclopedia, because not only is the awakening of all Logia fruits completely unknown at this point, but this Logia in particular has no established base form that we can examine. And there's always the potential that Caesar having augmented this fruit means that his individual awakening would be different than a base form user awakening it. So if we were to talk about Caesar specifically, then in his case, the awakening would be much more deadly, assumedly. And I have made a video detailing a pretty, I think, decent idea of what awakened Logias could do though. And it has to do with permanently altering the climate of a certain area, link in the description below and all that if you're interested. But if this were the case, then the awakened user of the Gasco Gastronomy could perform some pretty whack stuff, like perhaps make it so that an entire island is completely devoid of oxygen for the rest of its existence, or even replace the oxygen with another gas that they have chosen to generate. Whatever the case, given what we know of this fruit in the hands of Caesar, I would really not like to see an awakening of the Gas Gastronomy used against me or anywhere near me. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a gas human. Splendidly enough, the Gas Gastronomy acts as a hard counter to a fruit that I've already mentioned in this video, being the Moku Moku no Mi, because you see smoke being a gas is entirely under the realm of control of this fruit's user. Although it might end up being a bit of a struggle because the Moku Moku user can obviously manipulate smoke as well. It does put them at an incredible disadvantage though because the gas of gas no Mi can manipulate all gases whilst the Moku Moku no Mi user can only control one specific type of gas. With that said, there are parts of smoke such as tiny particles that are not considered gas and just get caught up in the gassy goodness. So maybe that matchup wouldn't be as straightforward as I predicted, but still it's a very tough battle for the smoke user. Also, I tend to mention this whenever I can, but this is another one of those fruits which under the right circumstances allows its user to effectively fly, making it automatically an incredible power for general use, but especially within the One Piece world, which is mostly covered in seawater, the kryptonite of devil fruit ability holders. So anything that circumvents that danger is super relevant and super welcome. And one very useless thing to note is that the gas wielded by Caesar Clown is depicted differently in the anime and the manga. In the manga, it has this sort of orangey color about it, whilst the anime decided to make this more of a light purple. Now this is obviously post Caesar augmentation, but that may have some bearing over whether or not you choose to consume this fruit. I mean, if you truly hate the colors of either orange or purple, then is it really worth the risk eating the Gasu Gasu no Mi? And look, yes, it certainly is. But if you were a petty color fiend, then hey, I'm just looking out for your best interests here. But to cap off this exploration, the Gasu Gasu no Mi is a pretty damn insane existence. And to be entirely fair to both Caesar and the fruit, I have not gone into phenomenal detail explaining the various different creative techniques that have been implemented with this power, although I have definitely covered all of the basic mechanisms. And I said it before and I'll say it again now, Caesar is the perfect user of this fruit due largely to his advanced scientific and chemical knowledge, but that becomes much better because it is combined with his completely
complete lack of morality, and those things together allow him to exploit the gas powers to their most extreme. In the hands of the average person, I'm not sure how effective it would be. I mean, yes, it is a must eat for the power of flight and intangibility alone, but I don't think that individuals with anything less than a superb scientific mind are going to be able to extract anywhere near the full potential of this power. So maybe that's a consideration for you when consuming this fruit, but more than likely not. It's an amazing ability and I would eat it immediately. And with that, we are going to commit the Gasu Gasu no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next time on the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we are going from fun to fashion as we delve into a Devil Fruit that many people probably don't even realize actually exists, which is currently held by a certain samurai being the clothing generating goodness that is the Fuku Fuku no Mi. But what do you guys think of the Gasu Gasu no Mi? Please do leave your thoughts in the comments below or even join my Discord server. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please do check out some of my other content or even subscribe to the channel for more glorious One Piece business uploaded straight to your YouTube feed. But for now, this has been the Ground Line Review and I'll see you next time.